knows about the weather. I mean, it's I do. <laughs> you do. That's the only You're job the I've got. Man. There you go. Uh, we we will see a little change in our weather for tomorrow. Actually, a big change, really, uh, with clouds this afternoon. Some temperatures will be mild, milder than it was this weekend for sure. We stayed in the 60s for afternoon highs this weekend. I think we get into the 70s for today, but then tomorrow, big time rain chances ahead. We'll talk about that in a second. Upper 60s now in Summerton, 68 degrees to be exact, and there's a lot of dry air, lower levels of the atmosphere. You see a pretty wide gap between the temperature. Uh, and the dew point, that means some drier air is out there right now. So not a, a very sticky feeling for you. Pretty comfortable with temperatures everywhere in the 60s except for Alexander City. They're at 72 degrees. So the future cast is going to show exactly what we've got around right now. Extensive cloud cover, some breaks in the clouds, especially in our northern counties. But I think by later on this afternoon and tonight, everyone will see the clouds thicken up and expand. And then we start to see rain chances. Maybe by morning show time tomorrow, 4.30, 5 o'clock, the CBS 42 Morning News, I'll be there. We'll talk about rain chances already ongoing. There might be a few overnight showers between, say, 3 and 5 o'clock, but the real rain chances start after that. And it'll be milder with numbers in the 60s. This morning, a lot of folks were in the 50s, low 50s and mid 50s, and even some in the 40s. I don't think we'll have that for tomorrow with all the clouds. So you see the future cast is going to show rain chances by 5 o'clock down in our southern counties. And it looks like right now most of the rain is going to stay south of the I-20 corridor. Now that could change, give or take, uh, you know, 20 to 25 miles or so in any direction, but the models have been pretty consistent on keeping the heaviest of the rain in our southern counties. There will be expansive rain, it's just the heaviest stuff will stay south of I-20. And then by Wednesday, we dry things out by the afternoon. So how much rain are we talking about here? This is going to be some really good rain. Unfortunately, for some, especially in our southern counties, the good rainfall amounts mean the chances for some flash flooding. There will be an opportunity for some water to pile up in low-lying areas, so be aware of that. But generally, everyone will see at least about a half an inch of rain to about an inch. So good uh, rain chances there. And then the cold front moves in on Wednesday afternoon, dries everything out, and we cool down for the end of the week. So rain likely tomorrow, some morning showers left over on Wednesday. And then Thursday and Friday, cool mornings with temperatures in the 40s and highs only in the low and middle 70s. Connie?